So one of the first things that you notice about the transmission is the um, the shifter. It's got a, a unique location. Can you explain what the reasoning was behind that? Sure. Well, the shifter's right over here. Um, it's really for ergonomic reasons. We felt it was safer and better for the driver to have the shifter with an easy, easy reach of the steering wheel. It also has all the functions on it that the driver would need. So you can select your gears, you can select your driving mode, you use the engine brake. Um, you can also use the cruise, obviously, is on the steering wheel. So all the features that the driver would need is right here next to the steering wheel, which helps them keep their eyes on the road and their hands on the wheel. Okay. That's uh, the main, from a safety perspective, I guess that's the main benefit, isn't it? Uh, it's safety, but it's also, you know, driver training as well. I mean, the more you can put the, the eyes on the road and the hands on the wheel, the better you are at keeping the vehicle between the lines and, and on the road where it needs to be. Uh, one of the most interesting features I noticed today was, was E-Coast. Can you explain that in a little bit of detail? Sure. So E-Coast is, you're driving down the road, the uh, transmission has a grade sensor and a load sensor. It also communicates with the ECM and the, and the excuse me, the MCM and the CPC. <coughs> All right. um, so ECOS, basically what it does, you're driving down the road, it knows when you're on a grade or a stretch of road that it can disengage the engine and allow the vehicle to coast with its own momentum pushing it down the road, which then sends the engine to idle and again and saves fuel economy by doing that. Okay. And there's a hill start aid uh, feature as well in this transmission? Yes, the hill start aid, um, essentially what it does is you're on a grade that's more than 5%, it'll keep you from rolling backwards um, or forwards, to, you know, depending on the grade, obviously. So it's a, it's a safety feature to make sure that you don't have to worry about rolling frontwards or backwards when you're on a grade. Yep. What are some of the other features that drivers will notice when they're, when they're driving it? Um, I think one of the big features that most people comment on is creep mode. So creep mode is the ability to, once you've engaged the clutch and you're going down the road and you come to a stop, say at a stop sign, or if you are in traffic in a city, it'll allow you to take your foot off the brake and it'll creep at a certain um, speed so that you can easily stay in traffic and not have to continue to shift. Okay. You can do that also, you can use creep mode in reverse, so it's very easy for maneuvering yourself into docks, backing up into docks, and then you can go between forwards and reverse very quickly if you need to rock for some reason, if you're stuck or wherever the case would be to be able to rock. So creep mode's a very, a very big feature. Um, we also offer driving mode, we talked about a little bit. There's an econ mode and a performance mode. So if you're driving for fuel economy, you leave it in econ mode, the transmission is going to shift, use shift strategies to make sure you're in the sweet spot and you're getting the best fuel economy. If for some reason you need to get more performance out of the engine, you can switch into performance mode and that will give you the peak power that the engine has to offer when you need it. Um, a couple other features, one is kick down. Um, so if you're driving in either econ or performance, um, you can push through and accelerate through a detent and that will give you all the power of the engine at that moment. So essentially if you're going down the road at say 60 miles an hour and you want to bump past somebody, you want to get out and pass somebody, you can push through that detent and get all the power the engine has to offer to get out and get past them. A um, couple other things obviously through the stock that we talked about earlier is the ability to engage the engine brake. Um, so this up and down will allow you to select either um, low, medium, or high engine brake effectiveness, and that's uh, how much of the engine it's actually used to turn the brakes on. So by using this when you're coming up to a stop, you can shift through the three and probably not even need to use your service brake if you're using it effectively. So that's a big piece of, um, of the stock itself. And then also obviously you can switch into manual mode if necessary, and you can um, you know, flip through the gears using that. Um, the last feature probably we talk about would be the um, advanced cruise control. And what that's going to do is allow you to set your cruise control and then set a limit that you want uh, the, the engine and the transmission to use an engine brake to control the speed. So if you set it at low, that would be say 3 miles an hour variant. So if you're at 62, once, it hit, once the engine hits or the speed hits 65, it'll use the engine brake to bring that back down into that range. So there's low, medium, and then high would be... Um, it won't use the engine brake and it'll just continue to uh, let you increase speed and you'd be responsible for controlling that speed. Okay. Uh, lastly, what customers would be interested in this transmission? Is it primarily line haul for now? Uh, primarily it's going to be line haul, yeah. I think there are some, you know, maybe uh, regional haul applications, but yeah, mainly it's going to be long haul, line haul, um, people looking for the ultimate in fuel economy. Obviously the engine, or excuse me, the transmission comes with the DD15 engine, which is a fantastic fuel economy um, engine. 
It also comes in the Cascadia Evolution, which those three things packaged together really give you the best fuel economy you can get in the industry. So that line haul, long haul, and some of the regional folks are going to um, probably see the biggest benefit of it to, to begin with. Excellent.